Yo, what up? And Moses. That. Um, yeah. So this is my review on the Azuli Big Money Ritual. First, I'm gonna tell you about it. So I got this, I got this ritual from Brother Bobby Hemmett. Shout out to him. And what he said about it was <clears throat> Well, how he got it was from an associate that threw a party which required everyone to donate a $100 bill to get into this party to get the woman to go to Haiti to get this ritual. And when she came back, there was another party or meeting. I don't know if there was another party. There was a, a meeting, at least, to give everyone who attended this party the ritual now it works it works it works it works if you need a good amount of money do this ritual immediately immediately well i would say try to cleanse your body you know um no eating meat no doing anything to your body to dirty it and you have to be pretty void of extreme emotions i wouldn't do it out of desperation i would do it in a place from a place i wouldn't do any money rituals out of desperation i would only do money rituals from a place of um comfort okay high vibration a place where you don't feel like you need this money like tomorrow okay because usually my magic shows its face in about 60 days this took about three days but you know what the fact of the matter is i was kind of in touch with the outcome the results for around 60 days so it was it's kind of compliment complicated for me as far as the actual result, I'm not going to give you the actual results. And I'm not going to give you the amount of money that I was trying to manifest. And I'm not going to give you what I wrote down. But the instructions pretty much go like this. You get a wooden table, a thumbtack, a white paper bag, a string, a piece of string, a pink cloth, a white plate, parchment, two pieces of parchment paper, honey, some seven-day candles, That's it. That's it. The instructions are you take the table. This is how I did it. <clears throat> I couldn't find the pink candle. You need a pink seven day candle. Okay, he actually didn't say seven day. I use seven day candles. So I would imagine that you could use any kind of candle that you want. So what you do is you take the table, wash it off. Okay, put the cloth on there, put the plate on top of the cloth. Take the string, put it, put the thumbtack through the string, connect it to the bottom of the table. Now, write Urzuli at the top of both pieces of parchment paper. Then write the amount that you want under it, okay? And then write what you want it for. What I did was I kind of doubled the, I put... I wrote what I wanted it for in the form of a an incantation, kind of a spell, you know, just to give it more um, oomph. I also used <clears throat> oneness intention. Now, if you want to know what oneness intention is, definitely check out my guy Aaron Doty, D O U G H T Y. Basically, side note: what oneness intention is is you trying to manifest something to help other people or that will benefit other people. So if you're trying to manifest a car, go in it with your heart saying, I want this car so I can give people rides if they need it for the low. Or, you know, I want to manifest this house so I can move people in off of Craigslist and only charge them like 40 bucks a month, help them get on their feet. Stuff like that actually has a lot of power to your magic. Boom. So you write what you want on both. Just write ex verbatim what you want on both pieces of uh, parchment paper. Take one of those pieces of parchment paper, roll it up as if it were a scroll, not too tight, 
and put it in the white paper bag and then wrap the other side of the string around the white paper bag as if it were a balloon. Hang it under the table. You already have your white plate, paper plate, I mean, not paper plate, glass plate on top of the pink cloth, okay? Put honey on the, on the plate and then put the parchment paper on top of that. I put the candle to the right of the plate. All right. Then I lit it. Now I did. I I made a mistake because the honey would not come out. So there is a giant glob of honey on top of this of this parchment paper when it should have been under it. So I accidentally I did it on purpose, but I forgot that you're supposed to put it on the plate first. So take the honey and put it on the plate first and then put that on top. OK, and then I didn't do too much meditating or visualization on what I wanted, but I did make sure to have a lot of positive energy. And when it when I lit that candle, my room felt filled with all this pink, happy energy and it went straight to my heart. Now, I didn't have a pink seven day candle, so I had to use a green seven day candle. I put a lot of energy into that candle. I put parsley in it. I put cloves in it. Um, that's the two. That's the only two things I put in it: parsley, cloves, a little bit of honey. Oh yes, and my sexual fluids. I put a good amount of in there. It's so much that I thought that it would not work. So that part, gross. <laughs> um, and then when it burned out. I fell asleep with it. Oh, yes. And I put, you can order on Amazon pink heart candles. I put five of them around the candle, the seven day candle, in the shape of a pentagram. I'm actually going to make it the thumbnail. So that's what I did. And I put Easy Times oil in the candle and Venus oil in the candle around the rim and on the candle before I put my sexual fluids in there, obviously. Now the second day, I mean, when that candle burnt out, I used a yellow candle, a golden candle, and I pretty much did the same thing. Now the Erzuli ritual requires you to keep burning a new candle every time that candle goes out until the ritual is completed and i definitely recommend it if you feel comfortable with doing it i definitely recommend that you fall asleep with this candle lit even though that is you're not supposed to be doing that but nothing happened i'm still here but i'm me so you know you might be not me so something bad might happen i don't know that's what i did and it worked fantastically um some other tweaks that i made to this to this well I just naturally give offerings to the gods and the ancestors everywhere I go. You know, I feed the birds because I eat at lunch. I eat peanuts. Um, just every day. I eat peanuts, raisins, and oats and freaking um, whatever. But I throw, I, I feed the birds during my lunch break. So that, you know, um, burning incense every morning for their Urzuli, saying this is for the Urzuli. Making sure that you work with your ancestors around this time, making sure that you are righteous, that you do not steal or do anything. Pretty much follow the laws of Ma'at during this time. You should be doing that right now anyway. Making sure that you give back with your heart, making sure that you leave offerings for the ancestors and the Urzuli at that same time. Other tweaks that I made, I had a pink candle, another heart-shaped pink candle, and I put $21 on top of, of the table, on top of the cloth, and I burnt that. That also had some of my sexual fluids in it. Yeah, I've been busy lately. <laughs> Gross. So that's what I did, and it worked 
and worked quickly, very quickly, very quickly. And I made sure to keep that same Urzuli pink energy inside me for as long as possible. When things happen, I made sure to not lose my cool. I made sure to reconnect with that moment and, and those feelings that I felt from the ritual. So I definitely recommend that. But it was good. It was good. I, it was it was good. I definitely recommend it. And I, I, I recommend that you do it again when you're not so desperate. When you just need a little upgrade, okay? When you just want a little upgrade. Can you do it? I would recommend it as a beginner, yes, actually. Something as a beginner, I will, it depends. See, you have to find out what your particular gift is. Some people are gifted at revenge spells and justice spells. Some people are natural manifestors. Um, thank you, Rex, for asking that. Some people are good, are good healers. Some people are better with psych. Um, some people are better seers than actual spellcasters. So I, w I would recommend it if you're if you know what your gift is, I would recommend it for everybody, but especially if you're good at manifesting and you know how long your magic typically takes. Some people, their magic takes, for me, my revenge and justice spells, especially if it's a righteous cause, same day. My money rituals could happen within, they always happen within 65 days, less than that. Um, it depends on what you're, what, if you, how much you know yourself. I don't know. I don't know what you're asking me. I don't know if you're a troll or whatever, but that's cool. I'm a natural manifester. I manifested things on accident. Well, definitely, because that's my that's my thing too. That is my thing. Accidentally speaking them one time, not even meaning it or meaning it, but holding. See what I what works for me. I don't recommend this for you. Well, I recommend that you try it. But with me, I the things that I speak into existence. I say them one time and I'm just not, I'm not joking, but all the emotion and all the seriousness, I keep it in. I just say it naturally. I say it naturally. Now I have a friend who says when she speaks things into the, into existence, which how she does her spells, she goes into the middle of the forest and yells at the top of her lungs for as long till her throat hurts. And then she gets the thing. Also, I mean, just giving you tips. Give back, bro. Give your time and attention. If one of your lady friends especially needs to talk, go on Facebook and look for people that just need to talk to somebody, that just need to vent and rant. Or if you have any services, offer your services. Okay? I wouldn't recommend giving away any money I mean, if, all right, look, I'll tell you like this. Don't just leave your money places, like on the bus, or just drop it, just making it rain. Don't do that. Give it to people. Give it to people. Also, write your name. Well, you don't have to write your actual name. Write your name on the money. I, I have more videos on money rituals, but I, I would recommend this. So you can buy all these tools except for the wooden table at, at Walmart, right? What I need you to do is I need you to withdraw, I probably spent like 50 bucks, withdraw like 60 bucks, right? Bless the money, write your name on it, get some money oil, rub, rub the oil on the money, sleep with it under your pillow, all of that, right? Put it in the sun, keep it in the moon, all that, right? Right, I, um, Right, return to sender on one, on the left side and then write your name on the right side. On the back, put whatever numbers means anything significant to you. I use my birthday because my birthday, the numbers of my birthday are magical. Uh, 330, 1991. That's a palindrome, forward and backwards. 03301991. So I wrote it on the back and I love my birthday. Boom, and I love being in the area. So significant to me. Right, whatever number it may be, it might be your address without the actual address, right? Return to sender, then I write all draw all kind of symbols on it, usually a masculine and feminine planet. It would be Saturn and Neptune. I will draw those together, touching, or Mars and Venus together, touching, right? Boom. So 
take that money and use that money to buy the ritual tools. And especially take the $60 because you'll have change and use that, right? Another thing I would recommend is getting the most expensive items that you can get. The cloth, I wouldn't because it's only three bucks and you're not going to really reuse that. I mean, you could, right? So get some expensive candles, bro. Get some, ex get us expensive plate. The parchment paper, I think it was like five bucks. But those thumbtacks, oh, <laughs> they didn't even have the thumbtacks I needed. So I had to get like this $7 pack. I'm like, I really I only need, I just, no, I can't steal. I can't steal for a money ritual. That's just bad energy. But I only needed one. I only needed one. I was like, I'm going to find something to hang up in there. Nah. <laughs> I'm going to all these stunt tags. I'm going to use one. Um, that part. So, oh, for example, I used, I have organic honey. I should have used it, but I didn't want to open up a whole new jar. So if you could get or expensive organic honey for this ritual, you know, that always adds to your ritual. That all, the more expensive the items because you're showing the universe that you're serious about this. All right. So I also recommend that you watch the Bobby Hemet full ritual. I'm gonna post I'm gonna post the uh, ritual tools in the description for you guys up. Uh, but um Mm, it's feeling like that funk. I like it. I just got off work. I got to decompress. And this helps me relax helping people. But yeah, I recommend it. Especially if you rarely practice magic. You shouldn't not rarely practice magic, bro. At least get you a tarot deck or something. Or work with the, or meditate on the stones or something, bro. On, on crystals. Because... It's kind of like, because magic is an art and a science, I recommend that you do some kind of work, like a little, even, even if it's a little bit of work every day, even if it's lighting an incense for the ancestors or a candle every day, even if it's, even if it's affirmations to heal yourself every day. Oh, uh, okay. I have a okay. I have a ritual for you that you can. I have a way for you to do it. So what you can do, this is gonna take visualization skills like a mug, bro. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the hack. All right, for all the religious people out there. Where if you can do if you can do magic at your house because you're fam. Easy, easy. Visualize it. Visualize yourself doing it. I would recommend that you build your or that you construct yourself an astral temple, which is, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but having a place, a mental, an astral temple, bro, just look up what an astral temple is. It's pretty much like a space on the astral where you travel, okay? But you can visualize yourself doing this ritual in your room. And if you're visual, if you're like you say you are, which is how I am, it should, it should work. Because that is what my ancestors taught me to do. They taught me, because I, I was going through this phase in Oklahoma when they were telling me to do night rituals during the daytime and day rituals at night. And I was like, why are, this is a day ritual. Why do you want me to do it at night? This is a night ritual. Why do you want me to do it at six o'clock in the morning? And they're like, bro, because you're not listening. We're Egyptian, bro. So if you're... If you're if you're in if you're using these tools and it's nighttime in Egypt, right? So they were telling me do day ritual do, do night rituals during the day and visualize yourself in the astral temple in Egypt doing the same ritual at night. That way what but it actually has to be nighttime in Egypt. That way you have the sun and the moon working with you at the same time, that's timelessness, that's creativity, okay? So visualize yourself doing the ritual and it'll work just as well, but you have to be, you have to be a great visualizer and the fact that you're still not an adult will help you a lot. I know what an Azure temple is, bro. Yeah, I'm not, it's not like I'm stupid. 
face said. <laughs> I'm just making sure. I don't know where you are. You could have been 12 saying this. You could be 10. You could be lying. You could be a liar. I don't know. It's the internet, buddy. I'm a 90s baby. I don't just believe everything that people type in the comment section. I'm just playing. I was kidding. Don't take offense to that. You might be one of the sensitive ones. Right. So add me on Facebook, Aaron Terrell Moses. I just did an amazing reading session last night. It was pretty amazing if I do say so myself. But check out that, <laughs> that Bobby Hemet video. I'm going to get off here now, guys. Um, if you have any more questions, you can ask them before I get off. I don't mind. Whoa, no, I can't be answering that. You're number one, you're a teenager, so legally I can't answer this. I would say that you can offer it, but I wouldn't combine the two because you don't want to have that crutch. I know people who can't do certain things unless they're unless they had a couple of shots. I'm like, and you're still gonna why do you do that? Because the only way, like your soul adjusts to certain things, bro. So you don't want to make it a crutch. Like I had to stop smoking cigarettes for a minute because I couldn't meditate unless I smoked a cigarette first. So no, I wouldn't recommend you doing anything like that. How are you going to say that? Oh, 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 Ice Cube face that ass. I'm a teenager. You're 19. All right, all right, all right. So I still don't believe you, so I'm not going to answer that. Thanks. See what you did? It's called trust. I have trust that you, son. <laughs> All right, but um, so you heard what I said, man. You heard what I said. Don't combine your spirituality with any with anything of those, any type of substances that will alter your brain chemistry, unless it's like sage or something. Mm -mm. That's because you're. That's because you're in a when you smoke, you're in a meditative state. You're closer to your subconscious mind. Any kind of mind altering substances opens the gates to your subconscious mind. You need to be get you need to get there without it. Because it's just gonna be a crutch. But for big stuff, of course, I mean tools that help you. That that's what the tools are for. And it's not it's more so for you to contact and petition. It's not really you using your own personal power. So I wouldn't, it doesn't really matter. I should have put that in there initially. It's more of you, it's more of like, this ritual is more like you FaceTiming somebody. It's not, it's not you creating a phone, which is what a ritual would be. This is more of a petition, or this is more of you praying than you actually doing magic magic. It's just, it's a contact. It's like a contact thing, bro. It's not actually, it's magic, but it's not. If magic would be making a phone, this would be more like, make, if magic is making a phone to call the universe, which is what magic is, and asking the universe, or telling the universe to give you something, this would be, this would be me handing you the phone so you could ask the Urzuli yourself, okay? So, it's not really, it's not really, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a who thing. And I am not going to be doing these types of rituals anymore because the fact that it happened so quickly, it kind of makes me uneasy. It kind of makes me feel like, you know, one of those monkey fist things, you know what I'm talking about? But I'm going to be an optimist and say just because I am that guy, they helped me so quickly and so abundantly and so like thousands of times more than what I've actually asked for. So mm, 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 mm. we'll see. We'll see. I'll let you know. <laughs> but I, I recommend it, bros, bros and sisters. I, mean, I should have fixed my uh, necklaces. I'm trying to be like Migos when I grow up. You already know. <laughs> but I think, wait a minute. Offset's the oldest one and he's younger than me. So they trying to be like me when they grow up. Hey. So, yeah, bros. If 
you have any more questions that I can legally answer and I don't have to question your agent box. Don't ask me anything about putting anything in your body or putting anything in anybody else's body. Why is everybody always so what about what about I'm like, no, bro, why do you always ask me these questions? I do I look like a uh uh come on bro. I don't know what you think I look like. That's why I couldn't come up with something. Over here confusing. See? Ask me all these questions, got my chains all tangled. I can't wait till I get some real chains with some diamonds, with some gold. That this doesn't happen. I'm pretty sure this does not happen to rappers. You have to get your chains unraveled and stuff. I'm gonna keep the same with diamonds too. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it G with it. I'm, I have had this mold device since 2019. I'm gonna be on the Breakfast Club. Angelis, Angela, you gonna be. So what made you uh, keep the the mold device? I have, right, man. Hey, I'm gonna tell you like this, Angela. Nah. <laughs> but you have to look, Rex. If you're gonna visualize this, you have to visualize your. I, you know what I would say to do i would visualize you going to the atm getting the money out right and then going to walmart or you could already they probably have atms in walmart going to walmart buying all these things asking an associate do you do you guys know where the uh paint cloth the thumbtacks they're in the same place all this stuff's like relatively close do you know where that is oh the crafts aisle right there behind you and then you go and picking it out, seven dollars. All right, but, and then you go to the counter. I mean, the checkout place. That's how I knew it would work. I'm not even gonna tell you that part, but that's how I knew it would work. Something amazing happened that day. So visualize yourself buying the stuff, going to going a mental adventure with your imagination, going to chalk zone with it. You don't know what that is because you're only 19. Google it. It's amazing. But go into chalk zone with this, with this ritual, okay? Because this is all you buying the products and working to get the money and not stealing it. Don't steal it. You buying the products and working to get the money is a part of the ritual, bro. That's why you need to eat clean. When you go to work, you have to be running off of pineapples and oranges in the morning, and and raisins and peanuts on your break, and then. Um, I like to drink orange juice and mango, mango nectar on my breaks. That's why you have to be clean when you go to work. Your insides have to be cleansed when you go to work and pure when you go to work because this is all a part of the ritual. Okay, so take the visualize you. So you don't have to go that far, but take the money, buy the stuff at Walmart in your chalk zone land, and then. Visualize yourself coming back to your house. Oh, I found a I found a perfect wooden table at a garage sale with my last ten dollars. Give that person the last ten dollars and they're like, you know what, just taking you. You're like, oh, amazing. It's working already. And then take the table, set everything up, wash it off, do it. Exactly. But yeah, Rex, Rex Rexington. That's what you need to do, my guy. That's what you need to do. Exactly. Go through the whole process. And socializing, um, doing things that you wouldn't normally do. Um, definitely, because that alters your karma. Doing things that you wouldn't not that you wouldn't normally do for money, putting in more shifts at work or taking more time to work on your actual goals, working out, raising your vibration, reading the dictionary, having less ignorant conversations with your friends when you're altering the chemical balance of your body with substances. Say, hey, bro, I don't want to talk about that. Have you ever heard of quantum physics? And you're going to be like, bro, what? Awesome. Definitely, bro. Raise your vibration. Every time you want something, raise your vibration. Then you can lower it all you want. And then you're going to be in the same exact place, which is what I do. No, 
Don't do that. Don't be Aaron Moses when you grow up. Never. Never don't do that. I don't consciously do it. It's just like I lower my guard when I get the thing, and then the universe is like, hey! and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. What do you want me to do now? Why did you kill my dog? <laughs> oh, that happens every time. Every time. But it's okay. That's what it's like. A day in the life. But yeah, I wanna I wanna um do something else other than talk. Because it's been 30 minutes. And I might have to cut this video in half. Because I put some gems in here that some other people need to hear. Nobody's gonna watch this whole video for 30 minutes. So that's it. That's it, guys. Do what happy people do. It's Aaron Moses. Life is in the breath. Add me on Facebook, Aaron Terra Moses. Do what happy people do. Smile. Ooh, wrong finger. Both. <laughs>